Uh, kind of a weird question. The efficiency of the nuclear power plant, like, I mean, for how much you put into it, on an average, of all the nuclear power plants around, what is their efficiency? What is their, I'm sorry? Like, what's the efficiency of, a, of an average nuclear power plant? Since you guys oversee all the nuclear power plants, I figured you might have an average efficiency. Are you talking the, the, the normal efficiency of a plant? Well, I'm not 30, sure. Exactly. 30 to 35 percent, I think, is the typical. Of being able to convert about 35 percent of the thermal reaction to electricity. Right. Okay. That's it. Thank you. That's just popped in there. Thank you. No, that's correct. That's about right. Okay. Yeah, roughly a third. I think when you look at, at pressure on the water, boiling water <coughs> reaction reactors, the rule of thumb that I've always used is a third. So the highest efficiency is the generation of nuclear waste, because a hundred percent of the waste is converted, or hundred percent of the fuel is converted to waste. So, so the, the, really what a nuclear power plant is, it, it, it's a generator of nuclear waste with a third waste product is called electricity. <coughs> if you look at it in terms of efficiency, 100% you know, of that fuel is going to be turned into waste, only a third of it's going to be turned into electricity. So really electricity is the byproduct or a waste product of the creation of nuclear waste. And I don't understand how you guys can sit here and just look at me and think about all the nuclear waste that you're going to allow to be created. You know, I'm just, it for thousands of years, it's for a long time, and, and you guys don't have a solution for it. You're, you're, not, you're not talking about, like, well, once we get this thing started and you generate this nuclear waste, boom, NRC is going to step up and we're going to have this cool thing that's going to solve this hot problem oh, along the river, the Missouri River, my river. You go home to Texas. I stay here. It's, it's just made me. Thank you. I just found it interesting that you mentioned that it would take thousands of years for those karst formations to do anything, but you are making a decision to create nuclear waste for thousands of years. So you really do need to consider this kind of thing for thousands of years and not slough it off and say, well, it'll be thousands of years before that's a problem. Well, this nuclear waste will be a problem for a thousand years. Thank you.